All right, check it out, guys. Finished in the top 20 for the Porsche 718 Cayman GT4 Club Sport Grand Prix Finals. And those take place in a day and a half. So I'm going to bring you that um, after it takes place. Um, but in the meantime, I am going to be showing you one of my favorite cars. It's the DS Automobiles e tents and my car is underpowered um so let's see if we can upgrade it because they want at least a 1586 rating no i don't have enough blueprints um i only have a two-star car here so we're gonna have to go underpowered um and we're just gonna have to drive a little aggressively a little reckless and uh see if we can pull off the win here so yeah this car is pretty sweet um it is fully electric and about 400 horsepower um top speed is only about 155 miles an hour the rest is going to be oh that was a sweet takedown that's how you drive aggressive um and we got a good start here so yeah the the car has a rev a speed limiter at 155 so the rest is going to be up to the nitrous um, we might be able to hit speeds of close to 200. Uh, it does have quick acceleration really good handling um, but the top speed is kind of where it's lacking a little bit. So, so far though, picking up all those nitro bottles and we have a pretty nice lead here with about 40% of the race complete. And this is a pretty cool track. I um, have not really raced on this one too much. Oh, oh we got some competition right there. That was the uh, BMW Z4 roadster is creeping up on me and now taking the lead no you don't son get out of my way just retook the lead and now we have about 30 percent of the race remaining this this uh race is mainly on the ground not too many jumps not too much air um it's all about speed here and so far i think i hit close to 200 there we go just hit a 200 mile an hour spot right there and I got a couple little jumps here. And that's gonna do it. Pulled off the first place finish. That car is sweet though. I uh, like to race in it a lot. Hopefully I'll get enough blueprints to uh, get that three star. And then of course, don't always watch a cinematic replay, but uh, anytime I have a really good race, I like to check it out. It's cool to see it from all the different angles. So yes, the fully electric. And it has a really cool design. It's like an asymmetrical kind of whatever. I don't even know. Um, it's a concept car. Yeah, the handling on this thing is amazing. Here's where the, uh, the BMW came in. Yeah, right there. Took the lead on me momentarily and then got the takedown. And after that, it was clear sailing. Smooth ride. Um, and then you, some of you guys were talking about turning off auto drive. I kind of played around today with a little bit of everything. Um, did manual steering controls, did auto drive on and off. Uh, and then I've even done some auto drive without any drifting, just with the nitro. You'd be surprised. Uh, how the times are almost just as good so they really I would say they got this game arcaded out to make it really easy to play um, no matter how you choose to play so just unlocked a new uh, season there and uh, gonna play one more race for you with my favorite uh, A-class car my only A-class car the McLaren P1 Let's take this guy out there into the Himalayas. Looking to win this race. Uh, this is a class A novice race and I need 10 nitro bottles. That shouldn't be a problem. All right, here's some real speed guys. And just like that, I'm already past what the e tents could do. Uh, you can't compare these two cars. The McLaren P1 is a beast and it is flying. You know, almost 250 miles an hour already. Ever so slightly behind first place. Oh! 
<laughs> that looked sweet. That was like the Cirque du Soleil of arcade racing. Oh, and now we got some police. That is not going to be good. Those guys get in the way and slow you down. Hope for a takedown. They like to box you out like that. Look at that. I mean, I just missed the ramp, and now he's slowing me down. Dropped down to about 130 miles per hour. Oh, I was hoping to land right on top of them. And skipping the ramp. I'm going to take the high road here, see if I can shake them. And we are now in first place. Here's some nitro bottles. Seven. Need three more. This car is so much fun to drive, man. Oh! Someone tried sneaking up on the side and I got the takedown. I just hit the nitrous just at the right time. Didn't even know he was there. And there's another takedown. And we got the 10 bottles of nitro and we got first place. Even though that cop is in front of me, it doesn't matter. I won the race. So there you go, guys, the McLaren P1. That was one of the free cars that Gameloft gave away um, about a week ago. And uh, that was really cool. Got the A-Class McLaren P1, um, a Ferrari B-Class car, and then the Dodge Viper ACR in the C-Class. I have yet to unlock my first S-Class car. Um, looking forward to that. Been collecting a ton of blueprints and I'm really close to, uh, I think there's a Lamborghini that I'm really close to unlocking, but definitely gonna bring that to you as soon as I do that. Um, in the meantime, guys, enjoy the rest of the replay of the uh, McLaren P1 in the Himalayas, and I will be back soon to bring you that final round of that special event, the Porsche 718 Cayman GT4 Club Sport Grand Prix Finals. It's gonna be awesome. Guys, enjoy the rest of the replay. And I'll talk to you guys soon. Peace out.